As you're probably already aware, couplers will join two shafts together. Usually one of those shafts is going to be the output shaft of a motor. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about flex couplers. These flexible shaft couplers have a spiral cut. This makes them very useful for dealing with minor misalignments. You can see here I have an assembly where I'm making a linear actuator style setup. And I'm using it with a lead screw and a stepper motor. Lead screws and stepper motors are the perfect kind of project to use a flex coupler with. Um, but because the flex coupler has that give in it, you want to give it some extra axial support uh, through the means of thrust bearings. Just like a normal bearing deals with friction radially and supports a load, a thrust bearing will deal with friction axially and support an axial load. So what do I mean when I say radial load or axial load? Well, radial load is load that's perpendicular to the axle shaft or lead screw. And in this case, these radial bearings in these pillow blocks are supporting that load, preventing movement in those directions, and they're reducing friction and allowing it to rotate nicely. But they're not doing anything axially, so I can actually move this lead screw through those radial bearings. And so if you put something like a clamping collar on there, that will prevent movement in that direction, but you're introducing friction. And so you're gonna take and use a thrust bearing, and now you can support that load and reduce the friction. So if I tighten this down and have one on either side, and that's important because sometimes the forces are going this way, and this particular thrust bearing is going to be reducing the friction and taking that load. And then inversely, if the forces are going this way, uh, then this side is gonna be taking that load. And so as you're creating linear movement, it's really important to be supporting uh, the forces and reducing friction in the axial direction. As you can see in my assembly here, I'm using pillow blocks in conjunction with my thrust bearings. If you look at our pillow blocks, you'll notice that the bearing is press fit into one side, and the other side is going to be the side that you want to use the thrust bearings with if you can, because the washer of the thrust bearing will be pressing against the body of the pillow block as opposed to pressing against the inner and outer race of the bearing. So as you can see in my assembly, I have a thrust bearing at either end of the lead screw, one supports it in one direction and the other supports the load in the other direction. This takes all axial loads that may be applied to the lead screw completely off of the flex coupler. When inserting shafts into the flex coupler, only insert the shaft up into the point where the spiral begins because if you keep that spiral portion in the middle of the flex coupler void, that will increase the amount of flexibility that you get. Because flex couplers help to deal with any sort of minor misalignment, they reduce friction, they reduce noise, they're gonna work great with stepper motors. Uh, so if you're building a 3D printer, XY table, anything that requires uh, smooth, precise movement, they're gonna be a great option to take a look at.